Hi, I'm Tom Brandt from PCMag.com with a few tips to help your laptop get amazing battery life. First up, how to use the Performance Battery Life Slider. The company that made your PC determines exactly which settings the battery slider controls. But in general, the best performance mode is for people who want to trade power for performance and responsiveness. In this mode, Windows won't stop apps running in the background from consuming a lot of power. Better performance mode limits resources for background apps, but otherwise prioritizes power over efficiency. Better battery mode delivers longer battery life than the default settings on previous versions of Windows, and it's actually labeled recommended on many PCs. Finally, battery saver mode will only appear if your PC is unplugged, and it reduces the display brightness by 30%, prevents Windows update downloads, stops the mail app from syncing, and suspends most background apps. So if you want the best battery life, should you use that battery saver mode all the time? Not exactly. Because battery saver mode disables some useful features, you should typically only use it if your battery is below 20% and a power outlet isn't accessible. Otherwise, use the better battery setting most of the time. If you're using a single app, maybe you're writing a novel or playing a local video file, and you don't need to be distracted by notifications, it's fine to enable battery saver, and actually you should probably even turn on airplane mode while you're at it, which will disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. In fact, you should consider using airplane mode whenever you're doing something that doesn't require internet access or a Bluetooth connection. It's a bit like turning off the lights when a room is vacant. Now, here are a few advanced tips if you really want to eke out the best battery life. Use the Settings app for a list of apps that are consuming the most power. If you see an app that you rarely use hogging a lot of power, make sure you close it. Often, these are apps you've opened in the background and forgot about, such as Spotify or Adobe Reader. If you have a powerful graphics card, like an NVIDIA GTX 1080, you can ensure that only games or other graphics-intensive apps use it, and everything else is forced to use the more efficient CPU for graphics processing. To do that, you can open the GeForce Control Panel and then go to the Program Settings tab. Finally, disable unneeded apps from running in the background when you start up your PC. To do that, you can open the Task Manager and click on the Startup tab, and then scroll through it, disable anything that you recognize but that you know you don't use on a daily basis. So if you've done everything I just described and your battery is still dying too quickly, it might be time to get a new laptop. Head over to PCMag.com where you'll find a complete and updated list of the laptops with the longest lasting batteries that we've tested.